Bit of glare there, mate. You said you're going to call yeah, it. I know, Mum. Today's nice and simple. Where are you up to, Mum? I don't know. <laughs> we got Saturday, 10th of November. Two things we got on the list BJJ training and finish Coursera data science assignment. Oh, yeah, I'm excited. We spent the morning at the cafe doing some writing. I love writing, I write every day, but you can check that out. I'll put the link, put the link below. But otherwise, Let's head up to the room and find out what we've got to work on today. All right, so there hasn't been much progress. Oh, that was quick. There hasn't been much progress since last week because it's been a hectic week of work at Max Kelson, working on very similar problems actually to what I'm doing in the data science course. But we're up to function three and we've got one main goal for today. You saw that before. It's to finish the assignment of part one. That'll be a big milestone. I've got to I've got to get, turn on this monitor. Now, I turn it off at the wall because I don't like the, I don't like this little standby light on while I'm trying to sleep. So yeah, that's, I keep the room completely dark. Oh yeah, first things first, this video, proudly sponsored by Coursera. You know how much I love Coursera. I've done the deep learning.ai course on there. Now I'm doing the, the applied data science with Python. If you want to learn online with 35 million, 35 million other people, other students, whatever you want, math, computer science, biology, that's well, I just listed three things that excite me. Make sure you check out Coursera. I'll leave all the links relative to, to what I'm doing down below so, so you can check them out too. But let's jump into to what I need to get up to today. All right. Oh, I don't want to upgrade the pro version. Let's start our first Pomodoro timer and check out where we were up to from last week. I believe I know what function it is. I know exactly what function it is. Might speed up this loading part. There we go. There was our latest submission. So where was it? Get rec recession start was answered correctly. Zero put one awarded. Get recession end was answered incorrectly. 0.1 points were not awarded. All right, we're gonna, I'm gonna smash this assignment out of the park today. I believe I have to find a, a section of the data frame where, where a number is at its lowest point within a certain range. So that's the function we're gonna get onto. Here it is, assignment four, hypothesis testing. Reload all the code I did last week. Hopefully it still runs. <laughs> yeah, we're good. All right, here's where we're up to. Get recession end. Returns the year and quarter of the recession end time as a string value in the format such as 2005Q3. Now I've got just a, a for loop here which runs over each, each index of the data frame, so each row. And then we've got some conditionals here which is just kind of looks ridiculous, but apparently I've read in the forums that's, that's how people have been getting it done. Uh, we will try and iterate over this over the next 25 minutes. Let's do it. All right, I think we've got some code working. We're submitting the assignment. Let's see how it goes. All right, submission status notebook successfully submitted. Beautiful. Let's jump into it. All right, my submission. 10.59 a.m. Oh, that's just now. We didn't pass. <laughs> Get rescission and was answered incorrectly. 0 0.1 points were not awarded. Back to the drawing board. <laughs> so it turns out the drawing board was, was pretty, pretty bang on. We, don't, we only had to adjust a little thing. <laughs> we got it right. <laughs> we come back. Check it out. Get recession end was answered correctly. We're now on 31 out of 100, but we still need 80 out of 100 points to pass. Whew. We're gonna go to BJJ training now. Come back. We're gonna do question four, and then we're gonna we're finishing this assignment today. Whether whether it likes it or not, I'm gonna beat this auto grader. I'm gonna beat it. Made it home from training. Not as damaged this time. Don't have a blood nose. But we got a smoothie from the fruit shop down the road. Now we're going to cook some food to make sure we've got enough energy to study 
You know, someone was asking me the other day like, what, what my philosophy is on food. And I like to keep it simple, right? Today, just eggs and greens. That's all we're gonna do. Maybe throw in a few other vegetables if we have them, but whole foods for the majority of the time. I don't like to overcomplicate things. Just enough protein to, to recover, enough fats to keep my hormone levels. And I try to avoid carbohydrates outside of workout time because they tend to, to clog me up. Last time we're at 31 out of 100. And I've been, been changing around rooms because just people in the house and you're wanting to sleep and everyone's chilling out, but no worries. We can study anywhere where there's a laptop. So let's, we're gonna submit this assignment. I think I've done the next two functions. Fingers crossed I have, because that'll, that'll work out really well for this clip. <laughs> so, boom, submit assignment, submitting, there we go. Beautiful. Please work. <laughs> Two very boring minutes later. Boom! Submitted successfully. That took a while, so we'll jump back in. What's the time now? 5.08. So we'll jump into this other tab. Our submission's been graded. What are we going to get? Last time, oh, there's a little spoiler. I got 40 out of 100 last time. But that was an hour ago. We made some progress. Wait for it. Oh, oh yeah. Check that out, 50 out of 100. Let's go in here, what did we get? Assignment four, show greater output. Function one, two, three, four, five. All received 0 0.1 points. Now we're up to the final question, which is worth 50 out of 100 points. So once we solve that, we'll be completed the assignment. But look how, look how beautiful it is outside. Look at that sun! Oh man, I'm going go to the park with the poppies. You wanna come? Get the leads ready. Bella, seven! You wanna go for a walk? Oh. <laughs> we got one ready already. <laughs> ready? Good girl! Whoa, wait, 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 wait! There we go! <laughs> Good girls. Seven, what's your tail, mate? I'm so humble. I get around despite the loss. I'm over here, gotta get across. Whether you like it, like it or not, there is a moment for us. Of fresh grass on feet. Hey, puppies. <laughs> and the afternoon sun. Oh, this is a good study break. I like to, whenever I've done half the Pomodoros I've set out to do for the day, I like to have a little bit of a, I don't know, extended break. So then I go back, finish it off, and we'll wrap up for the night. I'm really excited to get this last question done. Poppy's still going crazy. Light on. You'd think they'd be tired out by now after running around the field. Anyway, we got, Four Pomodoros left. We're about four through. Boom. Four left to get this assignment done. Let's do it. All right. I think we may have a breakthrough. Let's check this out. Switching to screen vision. All right, so we've just finished our seventh Pomodoro. It's telling us to take a break, but I'm not gonna take a break. I wanna submit this assignment because I think I just got the outcome it wanted. So it says, return the tuple different P or better. So we've got different, different is gonna be true if the t-test has a p-value less than 0 0.01. This is the p-value, so that's true. And university town, 
it's going to take far too long to explain why I return university town because it's essentially the culmination of three different functions in this whole whole notebook. You might have to sign up to the trial and, and test out this assignment if you want to go through it. But it's a fairly long one. Anyway, let's jump into it. Submit. This is the final question. This is worth 50 points out of 100. All right, submitted successfully. Here we go. Last was 50 out of 100. We need 80 to pass. It's gonna, it's gonna refresh. Oh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be anticlimax if it doesn't go through. Look how many tabs I have open here. All the forums, all the Stack Overflow. Stack Overflow is so amazing. I mean, look at this. I had to merge a data frame. It's got a complete example there. I've even got Eric Rude's website. All right. We're still waiting on this. The reason it's taking so long, I, I don't know. There, there's probably an error in the code. I bet you there's an error. <gasps> yes! <laughs> we did it! We got 100 out of 100. Look how many submissions there are. That's a note, right? Don't be afraid to submit your work and just check the grader. So what do we got here? We got 0.5 points, function rung t-test was awarded. Yes! So that means we've finished the first section of the course, Introduction to Data Science with Python. We check it out. What's next? So we're doing the Applied Data Science with Python by University of Michigan. And let's make this full screen actually. Bomb. Course two is next, Applied Plotting, Charting and Data Representation in Python. That's so important because you can find results like I've just found in here, but how does someone else understand them? And that's where plotting comes into, into play. So what you'll learn, create a visualization using matplotlib, describe what makes a good or bad visualization, identify the functions that are best for particular problems, module one, module charting fundamentals, applied visualizations. And look, it's got some epic reviews. 44% of people start a new career after doing these courses. So that's a big shout out. Big shout out to Coursera. Thank you once again for, for, get the shirt, for sponsoring this video. I mean, you've seen how much I love the platform. Like, if you want to sign up, they're partnering with people like University of Michigan. Where's my mum? I think she's out here. Oh, dad's here. Hey dad, I just passed my data science assignment. Oh, how do you feel? Uh, oh, mostly. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. You know what that also means? We can go downstairs and check off our plan for today. Mum, pass my data science assignment. Yeah! Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> there we go. Finish Coursera, data science assignment, tick, BJJ training. We also got that done. Boys, finish my data science assignment. Hit me. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Nip. Oh, Hit it up. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa. All right. Oh, Seven four oh, hours down. Oh, oh. We're gonna we're gonna take a break for the eighth one. I think it's oh, it's dinner time almost. Oh, yep. oh, yes. Oh, oh. <laughs> Josh is Josh is still going. Give him a rally. All right. That's it for Learning Intelligence 46. Thank you, Coursera, once again, sponsoring video. If you want to sign up to the course, you can. There's a, there's a link down below, Applied Data Science with Python. I'm finding some extreme value out of it. And the platform is amazing, as you know. We'll see you next week. What was that, Jimmy? Keep learning. And now you made it, but I already played this Not interested, open your eyes, let's get it done Take my hand, just follow me, shadow me, I won